Hey y'all, good morning, we, it's your girl Lati over here at Terrace and We Throw. Just want to jump in and give you guys a morning message. We are feeling mindfulness again today. We'll be looking at our chakra and seeing what needs to be balanced out and then how we can call love in to do that. So without much more said, let's jump into the cards and see what the spirit has to say. I hope you guys had a great night, and I hope that your morning is starting off well. Uh, my morning is going well. Um, also, I did do a little pre-shuffle, did pray over the cards, cleanse them um, in the smoke, and I uh, pulled an Aries card, so not for sure if this reading is for an Aries in particular, sun sign, or just somebody who has Aries energy, but um, the second card that came out from the second deck is I am enough for God. Um, those two cards were backed up with open your eyes on the top here and then also with focus on God here. So I'm feeling like um, whomever you are, Aries, Aries energy, um, Aries spirit, that the Most High God wants you to know that you are definitely enough. And you just need to open up your eyes and see that and just focus on God, you know. So, not for sure what you're uh, concerned about or struggling with. Most High God, please come through um, with the messages for truth and light for your collective wheat field so that they may be edified and may be good for bread. Please help us be mindful of how we can overcome the tears in our life and use that energy, those experiences, uh, to see ourselves, what is being projected back to us, how we can be strengthened, and how we can be called for good bread. So, so far, uh, we've got one message out. I'm not feeling anything else. Is this the right card? Yep, Spirit says that's it. Do you want this last one? Spirit says no. So, we will leave that be. So mindful message is expansive. Every day I am learning new things and expanding into my highest potential. Awesome. So that is beautiful. Definitely. I am enough for God. I am leaning on new things and expanding into my highest potential. Knowing that you are enough definitely <coughs> excuse me, guys, helps you uh lean into the ability to learn, accept uh, being studious and being open, um, willing to accept new information. Uh, and that helps you expand into your highest potential, right? So oftentimes, you know, this says open your eyes, focus on God, seek God. Me, I'm extremely, uh, I have a, a position that, you know, seeking God means to be very diligent, and that means looking in various different places for God, whether it's in your spiritual texts, um, where you study principles and laws, or you look in nature um, to look at the natural law, Ex <coughs> expansion, expansive expansion. There you go, Holy Spirit. Thank you. So looking again, spiritual laws, natural laws, you know, systemic laws. Look at your body, right? The body is an organism that is made up of systems. It is a vessel that is made up of multiple systems. <laughs> Spirit didn't like organism. <laughs> so it is a vessel, truth. That is made up of multiple systems. You have a lymphatic system, you have a circulatory system, you have a nervous system, a central system, all, immune system, all these systems that operate simultaneously, full integration. Um, it's truly enterprise management, what we talk about these days. You're talking about supply chain management with materials and being brought in and created, self-created materials, like, you know, using what is already in this environment, breaking down new materials and being formed. So you're an alchemist by nature. You naturally uh, create, you naturally recycle, you naturally regenerate, you naturally heal. And the ability to really tap into those principles that are at work within your body, within your 
system of systems is 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 paramount, right? So really dig into that. So when we talk about focus on God, seeking God, let's look everywhere. That is diligence. Spiritual word and text and principle and law is one place, but there's nature. Nature has laws. Your body has laws, ways of functioning. The Most High designed it that way, and you can see the intelligence of the Most High God when you study His natural systems. That right there, in my opinion, you know, it's pretty. Ex it gives you an expansive or expansion type of mindset. So you see, yeah, again. Everything that your body takes in and gets rid of the waste, it doesn't hold on to it. It is not like, and if you're holding on to waste in residual uh, material that's no longer serving you, it creates disease, you get sick, you're either full of shit, you're constipated, you need to let it go, get it out, take an enema, release, right? So you have to use the bathroom, you got to pee, you got to release. Either way, you have to release. Your body forces you to release. So for us to do that in our emotional system, right, thinking of our emotional state as a system, like being able to uh, be balanced in, in, in symbiosis with the rest of the body, calling that piece of system into activity, right, allows you to expand. Again, tapping into the power of your cells, trillions of cells with trillions of atoms, how many, what is the power of the atom bomb, right? And how do you take that and harness that power for self, truly in your mindset, thinking about a universe contained inside of me, right? And I have that universal type of energy that I can tap into and expand. The universe is ever expanding, right? And so when you lean into every day, learning new things, always growing, expanding your mind, expanding your thought process, bringing in new ideas, whether it's new words, uh, um, whatever, whatever it is, taking in something new, guarding your mind in such a way that you are bringing in things that serve you all the time, right? Um, yeah, you'll reach your highest potential. And of course, expansion here in our chakra set as well. Let's get the book out and just read it. It's in a blue section. So we right here to the blue, bittersweet, workaholic, isolated expansion. So the legend is Sky God was seeking wise counsel to choose the color of the sky. He, want, <laughs> he wanted the beings of earth to feel serene when they looked at his work. Other great spirits remind him to trust his intuition. He will know the right color when he sees it. Sky God trust and sees the color clearly thus the sky becomes sky blue inspiration is seeking good advice is vital when you are pushing into new territory um stay away from anyone who is critical of your dreams this indicates possibly changing of your friends yeah i mean you know that you're enough for god aries like you are confident that you, and you know that you're enough open your eyes i think your eyes are open and if it's not then maybe you need to open them to other things right maybe there's something else that you're still not seeing something that you're not uh allowing yourself to see opening yourself up to right spirit says just yeah stay stay focused on god seek god right um there's a soul meeting card behind here that kind of made my mind tingle a little bit so I just wanted to mention it um, personal inquiry what question can you ask how can I create powerful alliances I just said soul meeting spirit wanted me to say it <laughs> so I can read this how can I create powerful alliances are new people entering my life yes somebody is coming in God said that there's a soul meeting coming right there is happening so yes um, new alliances are coming in new people are coming in they're going to help you with wise counsel fruitful collaboration spiritual support state of uncertainty so maybe again expanding into the unknown does cause uncertainty and change is a big thing people get hesitant release any hesitation knowing that you are being guided by god because of course aries you understand that you are enough so let go of the fear replace that fear gift that fear over to the most high god offer it up offer it up to him and ask to receive your measure of faith to replace that fear that measure of faith will definitely lead you into expansion that is the mustard seed that leads you into expansion 
beautiful and being guided again by the Most High, receiving that measure of faith. In that measure of faith is inspiration, it is encouragement, it is support, it is a knowingness that what? You are enough. Your ideas are enough. They are given to you. They are divinely guided by the Most High. They are coming out of your true heart space. And the Most High is pulling that out of you so that you can experience what? Your highest self, your heart, the every good desire of your heart. But you need to do the work, right? So it sounds like you're working. You're in expansion state. It's definitely uh, over here twice. God says you're enough. Let's do it. Last key words, counseling, connections progress your meditation imagine something that you believe to be impossible for you to achieve maybe your dream job more money a divine relationship can you imagine it repeat out loud i just said measure of faith i know this is possible say this phrase until you believe it just that seed of belief right and keep practicing it until your seed of belief grows grows into confidence grows into self-assuredness right to that inner deep knowing that this is possible through the most high god all things are possible and when you're ready let it go if you know your desire can be it already is feel it feel it right as if it already is beautiful thank you thank you thank you holy spirit next thing do we want to yep spirit says yes we're going to pull an empowering question we always want to be inquisitive of self right and see what it is that we can do to improve never want to be to a place where we feel like we oh i just know me that's just how i am that is absolutely not the truth you can never fully know yourself all the way there's always more to discover there's always more to discover so yeah so let's see do we want all three of these spirit says yes and this is the order so first card what is it that fascinates me so much that the thought or feeling of it won't leave me alone? Whatever it is, it's probably it's going to be in your expansion. How do I put this feeling into action right now? Growing within your current space. Honey, child, let me tell you, this little setup is so tiny and so quaint, right? We are snuggled and nestled up in this little space at this little table. But we're going to get these messages out and we're going to grow right here in this little space. So I thank you guys, all of you who are with me right now. We are growing from right here. Thank you most high. So, yeah. Figure out what fascinates you so much that the thought or the feeling won't leave you alone. Whatever that thing is, that said niggling card, I can see it clearly. Trust the niggling. Whatever it is that's biting at you, nipping at you, it's something that it probably just irritates you like that pinpoint sticking thing like, oh, if I could do it, like I would... You don't even have to pay me to do this thing. Like I'm, I'm, I'm gonna figure out how to volunteer and help people because this thing just gets on my last nerve. That's probably where you should be serving at. So, what are my most important? What are my most important values? How are they reflected in my life and I'm, in my daily decisions? Again, what is that value? Something is poking at it, right? It's something that, ooh, like gets on your nerve that something presses up against that value that you have that principle right so how does that show up in your life in your daily decisions are you able again in your current situation daily choices being mindful of what you're doing and what you're deciding what you're choosing how can you impact that feeling what fascinates you or what bugs you on a daily basis when it's reflected in your life and you can make a choice to have an impact on it right do you choose to lend your voice do you choose to be helpful do you choose to uh or do you choose to uh you know, like, are, which vibratory level are you leaning into when you're faced with the opportunity to act? Make sure that that is reflected in your daily decisions because that's where the Most High will use you, right? We know that the Most High doesn't show up in these grand situations 
the Most High shows up or sends us uh, people to serve in just the regular situations. And when you run a, run across that opportunity in your daily life, what do you do with it? How are you approaching it? Thank you, Spirit. Who am who am I? <laughs> You're a unique expression of the Most High God. First off, that's who you are, right? And, uh, yeah, you're called to just be you. To lean into what fascinates you, what brings you joy, um, your unique talents, your unique gifts. Because maybe that's a part of the open your eyes as to who am I, who are you, that you need to open your eyes to. Right? Who has the Most High God called you to be? Right? If you focus on the Most High God and dig into who I am, you know, I am. I love this. Like, I take it. Who? I am. Right? So, I am powerful. I am intelligent. I am a unique expression of the Most High God. I am loved. I am nurtured. I am, uh, I said I am intelligent. And, uh, you know, it's just, yeah, intelligence, you know, speaks to me. I, I, if I could have the infinite intelligence of the most high God, I definitely would. But I'm, I'm sure I can't understand all of that. So I'm still on Gerber with the rest of us. Like him spoon feeding me. That's why I am. I'm a baby in <laughs> the most high God. <laughs> right in comparison to what he knows and all there is to know right but at most of all i am an entity who is who expresses high vibrational uh high vib high uh love in a high vibrational way thank you spirit for helping me get that out thank you all of you none of me thank you so i am an entity that expresses love and gives love in all of its many forms and tenets, um, in, in the most high vibrational way I can at all times. I do my best to lean into that. I do fall short. I, call, I don't call myself to be apprehended, right? I am not done. But at the end of the day, that is my focus, right? Is to uh, move in a way that's loving. I believe that anger can be loving, right? Anger is an emotion and love to me itself is a range of emotions and expressions, whether it is from frustration to irritation to anger to bitterness, um, all of that are low vibrational expressions of love. Where you move into sympathy, empathy, compassion, understanding uh, and all of that, those are high vibrational uh, expressions of love, right? Um, People say that love doesn't hurt, and I don't believe that that's true. I believe, just like, again, we talk about volcanoes erupting and can cause destruction, that, yeah, love can hurt, but it, it is a catalyst to change. We are not called unto suffering, I believe, is a very distinct difference. Like the land, it doesn't suffer. It immediately starts to heal when the lava starts to cool. And then the lava becomes the most nourishing soil on the planet. And it creates new land. It's expansive, right? But it started from something that was erupted. Something that had been built up. The pressure the caused the release in order for that expansion to take place. You know, so sometimes we, we, we don't look at the other full spectrum of love. We talk about the Most High will discipline us. He will chastise us. Yeah, we'll go through lessons and tests. And if you don't pass it, there'll be a discipline in that. There'll be something that you have to learn. You will have to sit it down, like time out for you. Go think about it. Go within self. Learn the lesson and come back and try it again. And then you'll get the test, right, again. So in the repercussions or the consequences that you deal with, with it does cause pain and that pain causes you to move but the most high doesn't want you to suffer he wants you to release it let it go learn replace that negative energy with something that now is going to be nourishing it's what's left over the nourishment and the support that you gain the self-confidence and self-assuredness looking back to say hey if i went through that eruption that volcano that tough thing in my life that came through and burned and singed everything down 
down and left it to nothing but soot and soil where I just have nothing but source material to rebuild that right there, baby. Okay, because you know you still have all the material you need to expand. You know, you know that, yeah, life ain't gonna always be roses and sweet. You're gonna deal with crap, right? But you're not called to suffer. You know, suffering is not of the most high God. <sighs> Get this card, guys. So, bringing love into the situation. I give endlessly because the light is without end. My soul is all I need. <sighs> well, that's a word. Thank you, Holy Spirit, right? Because, again, the soul doesn't die. It is without end. It has infinite intelligence, infinite inspiration. Uh, your light is without end. Shining your light and maintaining, again, a high vibrational of love frequency after going through towers. Uh, yeah, staying focused on the most high God. Um, remembering who you are and what drives your values and what fascinates you. That leads you into expansion. The goddess of light. We are all sacred mirrors reflecting back the same light. Yes. Yes. Our Lady of Exalted Light. I give endlessly because the light is without end and into the goddess of light. Right? We are all sacred mirrors reflecting back the same light. Allow yourself to be reflective. Allow yourself to uh, allow experience in your life to show you you. You know, what it is that irritates you? What bothers you? What do you like to do in terms of service? How, what is, what, what uh, areas? Uh, what do you tend to just run across in your daily life? What keeps repre representing itself to you? Spirit says, what keeps represent, rep representing itself to you consistently? There is a message in that. Most High is speaking to you in that way, presenting you opportunities to practice your this uh, service. Thank you, Most High. <laughs> Fatima. The mother of imams. Love is lineage and my gratitude is religion. Spirit says gratitude pushes all of it. You know, gratitude for your life, gratitude for who you are, you know, just your beingness itself. You know, it definitely reminds you that you are enough for God. That's who you are. So just stay focused on that. Focus on the most high. There is a soul meeting coming in for you, Aries. I don't know if this is love, friendship, uh, a service. Uh, maybe, you know, I'll restore some light. We did love and let's do a light. Let's see. Is there anything here, Spirit? Spirit says yes. Let's give it a couple of shuffles and see. I feel energy in these. M. Rama, what are you being called to journey to? What are you being called to journey to? That's something that you need to think about. I'm not for sure if you guys can see this card. I'm trying to figure out how to get the light to show it. But yeah, you're expanding. Open your eyes to it. Open your eyes. Remember that you are enough. And that love of self, most high God, keeping your light, right? Remembering who you are, what your values are, and thinking about what fascinates you. Empower yourself. It definitely will help you answer to where you're journal journeying to, letting that feeling lead you. Because expansion is here. Thank you guys so much for another quick reading. I hope you have a great, 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 great day. Please like, subscribe to the channel, share the videos with your friends in the other areas that you think may want to have this message or it might be fruitful or edifying to them. Please share. Also, 
don't forget to hit that little noti bell so the next time I do an upload, you can be one of the first uh, people to know about it. Talk to you guys soon. Um, tears and we we and tears. How we look at the things that are mirroring in our lives so that we can uh, be better. Yeah, because we're the we. And we are the ones that's going to make for good bread. Talk to you guys soon. Ashe.